everybody. Happy BravoCon week. We're headed to Vegas this weekend for BravoCon 2023. Are we excited? Woohoo! Yeah, uh, I'm more excited about this one being in Vegas than New York last year. You know, I'm going to get a lot of people coming for me when I say this. I love New York, but I don't love New York at the same time. I love New York. However, like there's something that happens to me and it's since I've gotten sober, right? Where I'm just like very aware of how I feel. Mm. And there's something about that city never shutting down that gives me the most anxiety ever. Really? Yes. I like the thought of New York, but I do like the thought. When I was there, I liked opening the window at like 4 a.m. And just like, you know, you just the, couldn't the, sleep. And then just yeah. everyone's up. You're like, all right, I'm not alone. Yeah. I like that. Feeling. I like New York in New York City in autumn. I mean, I will. That is like perfect. Is autumn fall? Yeah. Sometimes I, I switch heard... it when I want to say be, sound fancy. Is that I the bougie word for? heard for... autumn in such a long time. Classy bitch over here. You're a classy upstate New Yorker, aren't you? Hello. Ya? Pinky out. Hello. <laughs> um, so I'm very excited that it's just like a quick 38-minute flight. <laughs> yeah. You know? That's also why I'm excited. Why? Because the, the yeah, flight? Yeah. Close. Close and quick. Close, quick. I mean, like, everything is in a very, there's not a lot of driving, right? right. Like, everything is right there. I'm curious to see how it's going to be versus, like, in New York. Mm. Because in New York, you ran into all the Bravo celebrities because we're all in the same hotel. It's tiny because there's not a lot of room for massive hotels in New York City. Vegas, it's like, am I going to be bumping into a lot of people? Because yeah. literally, in New York, we're all, like, on the same floor. Like, every single floor is filled with Bravo Labs. Mm -hmm. Is it different? Are you guys all in different hotels now or on different floors? Um, That's what I don't know because these hotels are massive. I know that me and my cast are all at the same hotel. I think they put a few different shows at other hotels, I think. But that's, like, the most fun of all. Is like in the morning getting ready and then like getting a text from your hair girl being like, hey girl, I'm kind of running behind. Can you run to sweet whatever? And you like go in and like so and so's getting their makeup done. She's finishing up so and so's hair. And you just like, that's the most fun where you have like your coffee in the morning. Aww. That's my favorite. Fun. And then you enter the freaking circus of BravoCon. Yeah. I'm nervous. You're going to kill it. I'm so I know. Excited. She always kills it. I yeah. do. Yeah. Um, okay, so a lot has gone on since we've been on the pod because I think we had to pre-record. Um, I celebrated. I did make it to five years of sobriety. Woo! Thank you very much. We celebrated at Chili's. It was freaking fantastic. Whoop, whoop. You both surprised me with, like, a cute little party. I just thought we were going to show up to Chili's and, like, eat some queso and call it a day. But there were, like, flowers no. and balloons and my friends and family. It was it fun. Was, it was a ton of fun and Chili's just I'm from Utah like we grew up on chain restaurants mm -hmm. but Chili's always just hit different I knew it was gonna be a good a miss. good night when mom and dad were like we're thinking of just going to Chili's, Chili's. for dinner tonight <laughs> oh queso immediately that's all I thought the about the black cake though which was not made by Chili's did you did we talk about this I watched everyone eat the black cake including my child and looking like they had just eaten tar and yes. it was like you know what I think I'm okay but I heard that cake was phenomenal bomb but all of the cakes were I wish yeah, I, I had the red name. velvet so good I didn't have the black cake but Kyle did and he said the next day he was like I almost took myself to the hospital because what did you hear about ocean? After she ate the black cake. Well, black just to cake. make it clear, be, just because, not because the cake was amazing. There wasn't, but because of the frosting color, uh, it just shit it was a different color. And Bo wasn't there, so he he looked at Hartford's poop and thought she ate paint at school. <laughs> <laughs> we all had to remind ourselves, oh, it's that cake that was slapping last night. Um, but before we celebrated that, Easton and I went with our older brother, and our sister-in-law and our niece and nephew to Palm Springs. We haven't seen them. They still live in Utah. We haven't seen them in, I want to say, like a year and a half. You. You have. You've seen them, yeah, before, seen them before, but I haven't but yeah. seen them in like a year and a half. We spent time in Palm Springs. It was the most amazing Palm Springs trip 
I didn't have my phone at all. Easton was feeling sick. Why don't we talk about our first dinner that we had, Easton? Oh, yeah. The one where you sipped scissor before. (laughs) So... Wow. Coming down, well, we so we did the live shows. Okay, yeah. And I was feeling sick, and so I went to the like store, a little sniffly, like okay. a little, yeah, little coffee, you know, little sniffle. Now okay. I was feeling great, <laughs> but so I my head was, I wanted to have a decent night. My head was pounding. I couldn't breathe, so I was like, I'm just gonna drink half of the dose. Mm-hmm. So I drank half of the dose. I shouldn't have drank half the dose. I couldn't remember any. Thing. Did I you was, put it on ice and mix it with Sprite? No, no. I just no. drank it like a shot. Oh, okay. You know, in like the cup. Yeah. I should have done that. <laughs> you're getting me off. We but, had two separate tables at dinner, and Easton was like, Remember that? He was like, Lauren, where even am I right now? <laughs> and I was like, We're at dinner. What the fuck is wrong with you? And he's like, I, I drank the scissor. But I was like, You're on fucking lean right now? What are you talking about? Where there's like children around. And he's like, <laughs> Obviously, he was just trying to feel better. It's not like he's freaking little yeah, Wayne right. getting yeah, like, high. I've never, but he, yeah, it was a half of a thing, and it did that to me. So you obviously, took a half. That a is half wild. Of a thing and it knocked, knocked me. You out. And here's the thing: like, the bathroom was not in the restaurant. It was like across the way. Okay. And you were in just like a toffee shop, and so I felt like everything was a dream. It was <laughs> nuts. I was like, where am I? He was like, oh my gosh, I'm at Willy Wonka's coffee <laughs> factory. By the way, having my niece, London, who's like, built? I think nine, yeah. built-in uh, babysitter. No. So good. I think she's, she's like 11. nine or 10. No. She's 11. Yeah, I remember that because she's, I said, oh, you're a year away from actually being able to watch children because I, I think 12 is the age oh you're absolutely right yeah mm-hmm. so I was like wow you're just like oh, one she year like actually never doing gets it. older for me I'm like she's she's been know. nine in my mind for Forever. like a hundred years Drayson is fifth <laughs> isn't Drayson 15 I yeah. think he's 13 for some reason and yeah, I what always is think that? she's they just, not <laughs> they don't I don't know they, they grow up so fast <laughs> I have an ocean story for you guys yes so the other day I'm on my phone and, you know, she's at that age where, like, I I don't like being on my phone around her because she now, she sees it and she clocks it, right? But something happened and I needed to make a podcast note. So I got on my phone and she goes, she comes up to me. You need to put your phone away. <laughs> and I was like, all right, give me one sec. I got to make an OC uh, note. And she goes. Put your phone down. I need to talk to you about something. (laughs) I was like, what do you need to talk to me about? And yes, my child does speak like a New Yorker. All right. She goes, I need to talk to you about roller coasters. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, all right, what about her? She goes, you ever been on a roller coaster? (laughs) I said, I have. Because she's remembering you and I. She goes, Jack Jack. Well, no. The other one, the Matterhorn. She goes, the one you went on. You get wet? <laughs> you get wet on that roller coaster? <laughs> when you said stars, they're just like us. We were in the line for it. You're in the line. <laughs> I can't believe she remembers that. Though. She remembers because you look at the Matterhorn and there's like a waterfall. Right. So she's been thinking about this, you guys, for a couple weeks. This has been on her mind. And in that moment, she said, put your phone down. I'm ready to talk about it. She's like, we got to talk about if you get wet on the roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Took Why her three weeks she, to bring it up, though. It, yeah. Well, it was time. Why is she the cutest well on her. and the smartest? Like, this morning when I was trying to break into the office when we forgot the key, <laughs> I was trying to break in and, like, pick the lock. And she was watching for a sec. And then she says, let me try. <laughs> and I said, all right. And she did exactly what I was doing. I took a video of it. Um, she was putting a paper clip in there, jiggling it around, and then she jiggled the handle. And yeah. I was like, okay, this is good. That's how you break in. Let me, teach you, oh, let me teach you the things. <laughs> lovely. Wow. I was about to say, should we have You're been teaching be a cat burglar. You're going to be outside on everyone's car. I know. She's a genius. She By is. the way, Jess. What? Speaking of cat burglar, that leads me to costumes and dressing up. Did we have a happy Halloween? We did have a happy did. Halloween. Did you? Did you, Oh, and Easton went you out went too. Out, too. Yeah, you went out last night. I went out last night. Woof. She invited Whoa. me. I went to I the, the app. It was like the loon. Loon people were there, right? 
Eli from Loon was there, but it wasn't a Loon party. Dave, our friend Dave, was there. Um, I saw him taking a little shot ski. He, yeah. Oh, he, shot took ski. A, he did a uh, shot, the ice luge. Ice luge, And then, yeah, yeah and then he, he was, it was pouring down, and he missed it. And I said, Dave, you missed it. And he was like, oh, no. And he went to go back <laughs> in, and he hit his nose on the ice blood. Blood? Blood. <laughs> Wait, did he, get, did he get blood on the ice? Did no, it I don't. shut down no, the party? No, no. Right? No, I don't think so, but it hit. And then he he looked at me and he's like, is it bleeding? And I didn't know what to say. And so I was just like, um, no. And then someone next to him was like, you're bleeding, man. So it was fun. It wasn't a loon. It was a, I dressed up as a groom. I'm going to throw up at the blood. I'm sorry. He was, he was the E.T. guy. Eli? No, that's not his name. Benny? Who's the guy with the E.T. in the bike? I don't know. Whatever. It's on the movie. <laughs> E.T.'s friend. It was fun. I did. It was fun. Um, loved your makeup, and I wanted to know, did you do it? No, she wasn't. No, I was driving home from Palm Springs. No way. So yeah. you were a skeleton. I was half-assed. Yeah. No, it was I didn't great. Ha- Who did the paint on you? Yeah. My boy Calvin. <gasps> oh, Calvin Cobb? Yeah. Calvin Cobb Calvin. from Funny Story. Okay, yeah. let's hear it. Funny Story about Calvin Cobb. So I see this hot guy who keeps appearing on my Instagram. Not anymore. This happened a while ago. And I'm like, who is this hot guy? Well, in his bio, he has that he was on um, season something of Love Island or whatever, U.S. I'm like, all right, never seen it. But, like, let's see if he has a hot voice. Because you couldn't really Google him. He must have gotten voted off pretty early. So I look him up, right? Calvin is on this guy's season, so it's the only reason— how random that right. I, the one time I decide to dip my toe into Love Island. Yeah. And Calvin Cobb Calvin is on it. And Easton's like now friends with this guy. He's so cute and so nice. But the guy who I thought was hot, I'm not going to drop his name. I decide one night, this was a while ago. It was on February 14th, right? I'm with Katie in New York. I'm like, I'm just going to slide in the DM. I slide in his DM. I slide in his DM. Oh, boy. All right. Hold wow, on. we're getting DMD. Let, let, let this is great. I don't think she's ever done this before. I love this because I didn't hear about this. I well, I could kind of not believe that this is like what happens yeah. in the DMs. I was like, whoa, we're like definitely ready. abrupt. This is what I say. I say to him like, hi. I think I said, no, I sent a chef's this again. Right. Looking good. Yeah. He says back to me, keep in mind, first message ever. He says to me, you slide in my DM, you must be trying to get in trouble. And I was like, send another emoji. This face. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. Probably. He goes, you better stop playing before I come over there and blow your back out. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> really? Did it work? No, you uh, took all the fun out of it. What With fun were you putting? fucking messages. He got but straight to the point. Fu- yeah. He did, and I did send well, my number after that. Because okay. here's the thing. So you're going to get mad worked. at him, but it here's worked. the thing. You're saying you just got to the point. What are you, What is a man to do off of two fucking emojis? What That's are you, You're true. giving him nothing? So That's he's like, true. all right, fuck <laughs> it. I'm just going to say I'll blow your back I'll out. I'll blow your back out. Because what am I to? Do you want to go to dinner? You get <laughs> What the f- I got two fucking emojis. What is a guy to do? What is a I guy to the do? the same thing. I'd have been like, all right, do you want to send a nude or something? What's going on? <laughs> okay, let me see your tits. Let me get a word. Let me see your tits. Flick your nipple or something for me. Flick <laughs> your nipple, no! But it also worked, though, Law. He got your number. I know. What? I could never in a million years ever send that to a girl and be like, eh, it'll work. <laughs> let me blow your back out. Well, by the way, spoiler alert, he never got to. What would you have liked him to say? Like Easton said, what does one say? That's what to I'm saying. To a, to a chef's kiss yeah. of hand and, and, a, a and a smirk. Mm. Yeah. Literally, what well, does chef's one say? Kisses your heart. I also may have sent him the squirt emergency oh. emoji. <laughs> so so no. now. So Easton and I talk about this all the time, though. We're always like. We just want to find someone who's cool that we can kick it with. And the moment that, like, we f- meet someone who, like, we're texting and then it never goes past texting, it's like, this person's lame. They're not, like, when are we going to meet up? But then the people who are like, I'd love to take you to dinner. I'm like, oh, no. Right. <laughs> oh, no. Right. I, yeah, people are like. Face to face. It's going, should, it's going too fast. Right. If we bump into each other out and about, mwah. 
Yeah, the best. but if you're planning on seeing each other, mm, mm, too, much too much anxiety. anxiety. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, so that's how I know Calvin yeah. Cobb, and that's who did okay. his face makeup. It yeah. looked so good with the hair and everything. It looked really I know. good. I don't know what to do with it now. It's doing Looks something, good. but with the costume, it looked pretty great. It Are does, you right? dressing up, La? So this will be oh. coming out on Wednesday after Halloween. I may be an alien. I may just like grab an eyeliner and draw some whiskers and a freaking nose. I went to a Halloween store. I don't FYI, dress up. Not. On Saturday, mm-hmm. it was around the block. No, to get no. In. Where was this? To get to, into like the Halloween, I don't know what. Oh, absolutely was, not. What like Party City or yeah. something? So that's why I literally just drew on my face. I was gonna go get a costume. Yeah. It was in. We asked the dude at the back. We we're like, "How long is the wait? Do you know?" And they were like, He's, "It's about an hour and 30. I said, "No fucking way." Not for Halloween, honey. No, no, no. No. Uh-uh. no. no, no. Did you no, use sir. black eyeliner? Um, Calvin just brought everything because oh, he painted okay. his face and then he painted my other buddy Lennon's face. If Ocean would mine. leave her face, then I would. You'd paint it. Paint it. Okay. I was thinking about I that because I would leave it when we went to the pumpkin patch. Yeah. I saw the kids getting their face painted. And I was going to bring it up to her. And then I just remembered every time we paint her nails, she can't even keep that on. Mm. Yeah. She has me paint her nails and literally has me paint them to pick them off. And then she'll go, I didn't pick them off. I'm like, you did because they're gone. (laughs) You did pick them off because they ain't painted anymore. Because they're gone. Because they're gone. Is that your, really quick and then I'm done with Halloween, but I'm just curious. What is your, both of you, your favorite Halloween costume ever? When I was a blue M&M. Actually, no, I lied. When I was, my mom dressed me up as a dentist and I wore like the dentist lab coat or whatever it's called and had glasses on and all the little tools. And, but then I wore Billy Bob teeth that were all fucked up. You know, the ones that you put in and they're like all messed yes. up. That's yeah. hilarious. Your mom's a comedian. She is. Yeah. That's so funny. I liked that costume. The, I would wear that now. Yeah. I remember that. <laughs> Billy Bob teeth. Isn't that it? Yeah. Like you just like put them in. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the Billy Bob teeth. I think yeah, that's what that's they were called. Yeah, that's what they were called. Yeah. What about you, Easton? Um, I like the blue M&M. I was that one year. You I were? I think I took it after you. Yeah, we yeah. were. We've all been a blue M&M. <laughs> yeah. She had it, and then I liked it. I'll just be that next year, because I really didn't care. But yeah. then my mom got me my favorite one, I think, was either Darth Vader, because, like, the helmet was legit. Yeah. Oh, the helmet was legit. Remember that thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I liked the scream, and you pumped the heart, heart. and, like, the blood <gasps> would drip through the I face. I loved that mask. That it was I, so cool. Yeah. And you were just, like, in a black thing. So mm. there, no Filthy. effort. <laughs> Filthy. <laughs> they, don't make them like, they don't make costumes like they used to. No, they don't. Not at all. Mm-mm. Did you see Ocean as a Silly Goose? Are you My favorite. kidding me? Mom was telling everyone at CAA that she was a silly duck. Oh, <laughs> Lisa. She had to call me to tell me that on her way out. She goes, I feel so embarrassed. <laughs> she is she me so twice. funny. I didn't answer the first time, didn't answer the second, and immediately called her back. And yeah. she goes, I had to tell you, I was so embarrassed. I was calling her a silly duck. <laughs> I go, didn't it say it on her shirt? And she goes, no, it just said silly. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, either one works. Yeah, like the little goose thing on yeah. with just like a white leotard and a white tutu. And then it said, hi, my name's Silly. She was so cute. She was so cute walking around, getting her little candy, trick-or-treating. By the way, I got home. My purse was absolutely filled with candy. I opened the Gucci oh, bag, and Kyle was like, are you okay? Because I was taking it all out, and it piled up. Filled to the got, brim. Well, now you got The Gucci Snatchford. was filled to the brim. The Gucci with- was filled with Snickers and Reese's. And I apologize for that, CAA, because I didn't realize how much I took. <laughs> You deserve more. It was for the ki- it, was <laughs> it was for, for the, the children. children. Well, I look like a child, so it's fine. It was it was fine. Give them Lala is sponsored by BetterHelp. Do you look forward to the holidays, or like most people, do you struggle with staying upbeat around the holidays? It's more common than you may think to not be quite so cheerful and bright. This time of year can be a lot, and it's natural to feel some sadness or anxiety about it. But adding something new and positive to your life can counteract some of those feelings. Therapy can be a bright spot amid all the stress and change, something to look forward to and make you feel grounded and to give you the tools to manage everything going on. It's super convenient with BetterHelp. It's entirely online and designed to be convenient, flexible, and suitable to your schedule, even during the holidays. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Find your bright spot this season with BetterHelp. 
Visit BetterHelp.com slash GTL today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash GTL. All right, I want to deep dive into a couple things. All right, Mauricio and his Dancing with the Stars partner, seen holding hands. Um, the, the part of me watching this, seeing this, and by the way, this was pre- um, uh, BH premiered, right? Got it. I think it's for publicity. Yeah. I don't think it's real. I don't think that they've like had some sort of like love story behind the scenes of like dancing and you know, who touching each other's body and doing the, the salsa together. I just don't yeah. see that being like, you're the one for me. But. You're connected. You guys are sharing this this stress. You're. It's like you say with jujitsu and it getting you horny. I I don't. I think his is for publicity, a hundred percent. But I think he wants to win. Is that what it is? Yes, but I definitely see people like falling for each other over that. Just like actors fall for actors over roles. It's like you're touching them, and it's like you're sharing these moments. Okay. But how often has it happened on Dancing with the Stars? Like, how many has it ever happened? I'm I don't asking. know. I have to it's look like that something up. Something that has happened. But, but I other re- pictures yeah. look like. Don't it's- you think he just wants the marble ball trophy? The marble Probably. ball. Would you call it the other day the the mirror ball or something? It was Mirabelle. <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? It's like a mirror ball or something. But to your point, when Bobby Bones was on the season, I'm pretty sure he said. I hope this was him. If not, sorry. But he said like. It's not about the best dancer. It's about the people who want to see you win. It's about the people who call you in. So it's hinted at if you've got a cute little relationship or something where people are like, oh, my God, this could be love. They want to see you win, so they call. So that's why I think it's public. So you're kind of playing, okay. So you're playing playing the the audience to Mm -hmm. vote for you. The Mirabelle. What's it called? I think it's Mirror Ball. Oh, Mirror Ball. Ball. Yes, like Mirror Ball, like Disco Ball. Mirror ball trophy. Mirror ball. Len Goodman, mirror ball. Okay. Oh, see, then I thought I was saying it wrong. Mir- I thought it was mirror ball trophy. No, mirror and ball. And then I thought it was marble. Made of marble. Is it? No. It's made of mirrors. <laughs> I think it's like a disco ball type. Okay. Mm. Yeah. All right, I like it. We think it's for publicity. Yeah. Um, I, oh my gosh, I can't get enough of... Beverly Hills Hotel. Beverly Hills Hotel. <laughs> Real Housewives of Beverly that Hills. <laughs> that too. But literally, so fucking good. So Did good. you guys watch it? Watched um, most of it, but then I did a deep dive on Kyle. And because then I was like, because then I, I started watching all the Watch What Happens live clips and like, but anyway. Okay, yes. tell me your thoughts. Because I think everyone was, like, everyone's excited when Beverly Hills comes back. Yeah. But this season, especially... Because we're talking about, like, Kyle and Mauricio were, like, goals, Mm -hmm. right? And, yes, I live in L.A. I've heard rumblings for a while about Mauricio. but And now I know where where there's smoke, there's fire. But there are crazy people who just make shit up. And Mauricio is very hot. Mm -hmm. So I could see people making up that they hooked up with him. But tell me your thoughts before we deep dive. I just have a couple quick Number one, I was surprised to hear that Kyle was the one who called it off. Maybe I shouldn't be, but I was. Um, I just, in number two, I think I've just, I thought this could be a situation where they're like, not midlife crisis, but they need to go and they'll come back to each other because like you said, they were goals. They're done. Like I'm 100% convinced they're done. I think she's checked out. Yeah. I think. She is. And, like, the tattoo thing, which was weird. By the way, loved that scene and how he kept going, love Bean. Yeah. Love Bean. And her eyes just (laughs) But he said, I won't allow it. Yeah. And she's like, go fuck yourself. Yes. Kyle was so incredibly sexy. Yeah. This episode. And I think it's because she's kind of looking at him like, I don't fucking need you. It's like your confidence. It's the confidence where, like, he had made all of this money, right? And it's it, it's just how it works sometimes. Like the the mom goes out and works, but ultimately she's she's got to be a mama and raise a family. And the dad kind of goes out and and works or does whatever he's doing. Now their kids are grown, and he looks sad. Mm-hmm. 
sad and very large new teeth. (laughs) And she looks, I just love the attitude where she's like, I have five tattoos and you don't want me to have any more. And you thought I only had two. So fuck off. That even that, yes. And even then seeing that, I was like, how does he not? That's, I was like, they're done. They're not, they're in, they're done. They're two well, separate people. how do you people. not even know? I mean. How do you not that's, know? That's my biggest thing. It's yeah. like, well, haven't you seen her in the shower? Haven't you seen no, it's like, I don't if think you like somebody, time. I knew exactly, what, you know? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It, That was weird for me. And for him to keep just like, I don't know, he's just going to keep digging holes. Or he just felt like he, every time he'd say something, it was just digging a bigger yeah. hole. Mm. And it's like, dude, there's a point you can shut up, man. Yeah. Well, it was very awkward. Even her going into his study. I got secondhand like, embarrassment. For him? Yeah. I know. She's not fucking around. No. She desacked him. Yeah. So badass. So a lot of people, I'm gonna I'm gonna tie this back in at some point. A lot of people are saying, and it's happened with BH, it's happened with Southern Charm now, which is also fantastic because we're gonna deep dive into Southern Charm as well. But they're drawing these these parallels, right? And they're now coining like, oh, Mauricio and Kyle and Austin and Taylor on Southern Charm. Everyone's trying to get their scandal moment. Number one. <laughs> like, scandal was crazy, right? It was the perfect storm. But this shit happens. Mm-hmm. I've always said it. When, when you have people who get comfortable in relationships friendships and then you add alcohol like it's just easier to fuck Mm -hmm. you know like scandal was not it it was the perfect storm on how it was happening but it wasn't some like I think it was so this has never happened ever I mean I've had this happen in my in my family where I won't out anyone but someone had a best friend and the woman was confiding in her best friend about her husband cheating and he was cheating with this woman. And they're still together. The friend. It's wild. It's Wait, wild. And this, this is this... in my family. Okay. So the the one he cheated <clears throat> on her with, they're still together. S- Scandival, yes. Yeah. Got it. I think I think Scandival is so, like, intriguing because you can go back, back and, and watch. watch. Mm. And that's why it's like, now it's like you can put, it's almost like a TV, I mean, obviously, but it's like a, it was a scripted show, and now you're going back and, like, mm-hmm. watching it and, like, oh, my gosh, they touched a little. How did I not see that? Right. So I think the that's Easter why Easter eggs people su- are calling yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Perfect So that's what it. I mean. Is Scandival was so mind-blowing because of that aspect of things. And it happened while our show was only mid-season. So you knew the outcome and then got to watch with us all of these Crazy moments of yeah. us putting things together and not really knowing if it was real or not, and then it coming out. So it was the perfect storm. However, people on the internet are so crazy that they think that all of these shows, even even Carl and Lindsay, Lindsay. from uh, Winter or Summer House, everyone's saying all these other shows are trying to get their Scandal moment. You guys, people cheat, people break up. Scandal was not the first, and it certainly will not be the last. But also, I saw. That people are saying Kyle's interview look, where she's in red, her first one, red cutouts, that she's trying to lean further into her Scandal moment. And that's where I'm like, okay, you guys, we, we got to stop. Yeah. We got to stop. Ariana didn't invent the red cutout dress. She certainly did not invent the, the cheating, being cheated on. All right? Yeah. Like, at some point, we got to reel it in. I mean, I, even when I went to Vanderpump Dogs Gal and wore that cutout dress, everyone was like... You're trying to copy Ariana. Actually, that was my reunion dress look. And I wasn't able to wear it anymore. I know. That's actually what really happened. And I just had the dress and was like, where the fuck am I ever going to wear this? So I guess to is. the gala. Mm-hmm. When am I sp- supposed to wear it to the Brent Shapiro Foundation? <laughs> Tits out. No! <laughs> like, literally. It's so crazy <laughs> to, to see people online go so wild over like... You're trying to recreate something. You're trying to you're trying to recreate Scandal off of a fucking interview look with some cutouts. Like no one's ever worn cutout cut out anything before Scandal. <laughs> Am I have I gone mad? No. No, it's have fun. I no. gone insane? <laughs> the story Someone please made me tell yawn. me. No, the story made me yawn of how crazy people are. People? You're not crazy. I yawned <laughs> over it. 
trying. <laughs> yeah. No. Aye, aye, aye. No. Jessica's looking at me like, shut the fuck up. You're going to no. get no, <laughs> written she's, about. No, she's mind numbed from the story as well of these people. Yeah. And I'm yawning. No, but I really. Don't think, no, you're not crazy. No. I think people like to stretch for stuff. What? And it's just. The stretching. The elastigirling yeah. to these <laughs> assumptions. Reaching. Oh, the my God. The reaching is beyond. If you like using debit over credit, don't you think it's time to also get rewarded? Well, now you can with Discover Cashback Debit. It's a checking account that rewards everyone with cash back on everyday purchases. Plus, there are no fees, period. We're talking date nights, thrifting the latest trends, nights out with your friends, and it's now earning you cash back with Discover Cashback Debit. Check out eligibility and terms at discover.com slash cashback debit. Discover Bank. Member FDIC. Okay, so let's circle back to some other news in Housewives. Speaking of, I love when it clicks, you guys, on my notes. And the only person making notes in our group notes is me. Hold on here. We don't want to throw say you this, out. Let's, no, let's, let's say this online. Yeah, let's, let's throw this. It. Okay, let's so here's it. what we do. And I know you do it too. Yeah. We don't like to throw your notes off because you like, here's the thing. You're the showrunner, right? Yeah. So you're going okay. through your I notes. Okay, like so what I'm going to do, or what I, we do, is I have my own notes for your notes. Yes. I don't need you to have my notes. So like Why, when yeah. you're Why bringing you up a to? topic, I now know my notes in it. There's no reason for you to know them. So when you're making edits, just to let you know, like when it's letting us know that yeah. edits are happening, I'm yeah. going into my own notes and making my own edits. Yeah, so we're looking at yeah. your notes just to stay on topic of the show. Because I'm the boss. Yes, yeah, and then the... we have our own side notes. Yeah. We're not going to filthy it up with our filthy notes. Yeah. Don't filthy so then, it like, up. <laughs> yeah. So then when you like go to a certain subject, like my notes are just scattered. Yeah. So that, But when you bring it up, I just know where my is, and yeah. then you just go down to mine. Oh, I love this. Yeah, like yeah. I'm not over here just hoping and praying that I'm getting it together. We got yeah. some notes going. We got yeah. some side notes. I have, I do note. have, I, if I had my laptop, I'd turn it, but I have like a picture of all like the New York housewives and then like Orange County in my notes with yeah. the names above them because I'm so bad with names. So really? I have to put a face to it. I, I'm better, way better with faces. faces. So yeah, for like, some reason so with Housewives, I, I can learn it. names in two seconds. Well, yeah, but mm. you you love it. You're good at it. It's It's your work. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, in other housewives news, it has come out that um are we good on on BH? I feel like everyone mostly cares about Mauricio that. and Kyle. Mauricio and Kyle. Yeah. yeah. So what I've gathered from this episode, it was the first one. Also, it's gonna be very interesting to see Erica Jane and Dorit. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Dorit and PK. Did we talk about that? Oh, Dorit we don't. and sorry. What about it? Well, the the wasn't it on Watch What Happens Live? Like Hasn't it come out? I was just looking at clips, but Dorit and PK, like, um, a caller called in and said to Kyle and someone else, um, did you hear that they're living, Dorit, or PK's living in a hotel? Did you see any of this? Okay, yes, I saw some of it on on IG. Yes, how do you feel about that? Because that's another one where a lot of people are, like, not shocked, but I'm like, I'm 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 a little shocked. Yeah. I thought that they had a really beautiful relationship. Me too. The thing is, relationships are freaking hard. Yeah. Now you throw people into a city that is toxic as fuck, mm-hmm. and then you're putting their their real lives onto a television show. It's a very intense. Mm-hmm. But during that, uh, the um, interview with Sutton where she said, I haven't heard any rumors about PK. The only rumor I've heard is when he got his DUI, there was another woman in the car. Teddy Mellencamp, then said on Watch What Happens Live, coming from a woman who keeps vodka in her fucking purse, I read the police report, PK was alone. So there we go. Mm. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Um, that is shocking. Yeah. But relationships are tough and it's always sad when there's little kids involved. I know. You know, it's almost easier to split when they're infants because then they don't know any different. Mm-hmm. But to have to, like, re like, I can't imagine. Mm-hmm. Anyway, moving on. Shannon Bedore, DUI. Um, her blood alcohol level was three times the legal limit. She's been charged with, um, obviously, the DUI and then hit and run. I got oh. a question. Yeah. Yeah. How many drinks or shots does it take? Well, it depends on your body if it's three times. But that is, what do they say? Two, uh, yeah, two to four right. drinks gets you to the DUI. So if it's three times, you would think she has close to twelve, or or equivalent. 
I'm bad with numbers. Yeah. All I know is three times sounds like a lot. Yeah. yeah. If I'm times in 0. 0.08 by three, yeah. seems like we're above the legal limit. Like- <laughs> <laughs> How do you, oh. uh, time, times three, I'd be just asleep in someone's front yard. Yeah. She, a- she was. <laughs> <laughs> she was. After she took it out. Got yeah, her- but. With the run. It's the craziest shit to watch that video hitting the house, backing up and taking off. Like, what, I what, couldn't are, even, what are you doing? What, what are you and doing? then parking the car and walking the dog like nothing happened. I don't mean what? to laugh, but like, what the fuck? You know, it's, it's so wild that it's, it's like. It's so wild thing. that yeah. you're like, what are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? But we did hear that. She, yeah, that's that she is 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 also very affected by that, of course, oh, negatively, yeah. and is working on it, hopefully, fingers crossed. I, yes, I was told, yes. I think we all were told, I read mm-hmm. it, that she was, like, really doing work on herself at a facility, which, amazing, thank God no one was hurt that night. Right. Sorry, just whenever I'm talking and I have an out-of-body experience. Yeah. Here's the thing, when I get uncomfortable, when or I like, get uncomfortable, it's something I like that, laughing. I laugh, because it's the only thing that, it's like a defense mechanism that, like, yeah. can keep me away from, like, that bad issue. Or I go like this, which I'm you doing. You do. Very yeah. Really yourself. underneath. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Talking no. about that. I laugh too. No, I laugh too during during stuff like that. Because I'm telling you, everyone's in a very sensitive state right now. Yeah. You has cannot ever, win. I feel very, has everybody else felt very weird this week? I feel I've, like Halloween is caught in a hold of me. Um, We're in between eclipses, you guys. You're not, you're not, you're not crazy. Everyone is dealing with either like a depression or anxiety or some weird shit going on or like and that that's what I'm hearing. I feel very yeah. heavy and emotional. There Anybody we go. else? Yes. 100%. 100%. All right. All right. And yes. can I tell you it's to the point where I'm like I want to fall off the map. I want no one to know who I am. I don't want to be written about. I don't want to be spoken about. I want to move to Palm Springs. I want you all to fucking forget me. Mm-hmm. Don't talk about me. Mm-hmm. Leave me alone. I'm going to shut the fuck up. It's very weird. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. It's a weird time, and I, I've I, never, it's a weird time, and I've never, ever been the one, oh, we're in between eclipses, like, but this is real. It's like, everyone's feeling the same way. There's something behind that. I don't there's know. something behind it, and I'm not freaking digging it. Yeah. Did we watch um, New York? I last couple of, minutes of it. Last yeah. couple of uh, yeah. reunions. Yeah. I, oh, I watched the first, 30 minutes of the second. They're a very, love them. This is not a jab. They're very sensitive compared to the OGs. Mm-hmm. Very sensitive and very emotional. Very high emotion. I have, it is, it's heavy. Mm-hmm. It's heavy, the stuff that they talk about. The one thing that I want to touch on is I was actually mind blown at how Aaron and Sai were gaslighting Jessel. I don't care what you say, Easton. Those two girls were little catty bitches, and I've been there. I've been a catty no, yeah, bitch a million can, well, and one also, times. Also, I can say, like, yeah, people have been catty. I just, on that, I just didn't, I don't love Jessel, but I can also say, like, you're being a bitch to Jessel. They were absolutely insinuating that her husband was creeping around on her, and then she confronts them at the reunion, and they're like, we never said that. And it's like, no, no. no you said it. You're not going to play this game with me. You may have never said he's absolutely cheating on her, but you both laughed and insinuated that he was creeping around. And it's a long time to have in Vietnam. But so did I. Yeah. But so did I. I said it was, I was like, why is it? But It's fine. Right, Guess but, what? Yeah. You're, you're not on a show with them. That's or, also not the point. It's that true, they were but, gaslighting her. Yes. Yeah. No, but I did. I also was feeling for Jessel on that. And I now see why Bryn was like, oh, afterwards our group texts were like, fuck you, blah, blah, blah. And now it's like, well, yeah, no shit. Because remember, she said mm-hmm. the Ronin group text was like, they all hated each other. I hope you, it's not like that anymore. We'll see it. Bravo. You kind of got that vibe. Yeah. Even Uva mm-hmm. went in yeah. on the group messages. That's... They exposed some of them the first episode. Mm. I have yet to get around. I watched like maybe 10 minutes of the second part mm. and then Ocean. A lot of them, I do like how they, I know there are stories, but they did. It's one of the housewives. That I've seen, like, all of them taking a little bit of accountability, other than a couple of, it, like, things. But most of them are like, I'm sorry, like, Sai saying that she gets hangry because she doesn't, like, eat meat, so she has to eat every three hours and I... things like that. It's like, I can understand. And yes. for you to just say, like, I thought, like, the accountability on a good amount of subjects was like, I was like, all right, these... you can see that they are close, but you can also see how, like, they're sisters and butt fucking heads. Yeah. 
I actually really enjoy them. I'm Same. excited that they'll be back on my TV screen. Um, Salt Lake, not much happened. I was blown away by Monica at Angie. Never thought I'd be a fan of Angie K. Love Angie K. Monica's kind of losing me. They go to Angie's house. By the way, I think I want to marry a Greek man. Why? I just love everything about it. Okay. Okay. There are there are a lot of very Hot. great Greek men in Utah well, too. Well, I'm going there and marrying yeah. one because I am obsessed. Yeah. Okay. Everything about it. Anyway. Yeah. I, I couldn't. What made you think that? Because I watched Angie K had Easter at her home and just all of the things that they do in that culture is just beautiful and it resonated That's... with me and I was like, I want a Greek man. And I'm not Greek, so I can't I'm gonna have to marry someone to yeah. actually be a part of it. You hear that, Greek men? Like, like, and now yeah. all of them know what they can go and watch to kind of get you going. You see I know. Right? Up your feet. No, I'm so excited for my big fat Greek wedding three. <laughs> <laughs> is that co- is there is that I a think thing? that's like fully happening. Rush hour f- is my Something big else is fat Greek too, wedding right? three coming out soon. Guys, I've uh, never seen that rush movie. hour. Is it? To who? It says to who? <laughs> to who? <laughs> anyway. They're at Angie K's for Easter. Monica brings her mom and her kids. Monica and Angie get into it. Really, Monica's just getting into it with herself, and Angie is just trying to, like, stay neutral. Monica's mom comes up and starts trying to get Monica to calm down. Granted, I think Monica's mom wants her 15 minutes. Absolutely, because it was like, leave her alone, dude. She doesn't want you talking to her. But then Monica sits back down. The mom comes up and she's like, you need to stop it after she's told her 15 times. It's not going well, by the way. And Monica goes, me stop it. Tell her to stop it. I'm like, oh, my God, you're a child. Yeah. You're a fucking child. Yeah. What the fuck is happening? You're a grown ass woman telling your mom to tell your other grown ass friend to stop it. She, Monica decides to leave. She tells her kids, let's go. And it was absolutely heartbreaking. Her little girl says, but what about the Easter hunt? They're having the best time. When I tell you, I sobbed. I sobbed. That's heartbreaking. What would you do in that situation? I, If I'm a mom, I'm staying and I'm going, fuck it. I'm ignoring you and I'm letting my kids have fun. Let me tell you something. If I'm in your home, I'm not bossing up to you. I'm going to tell you I'm so grateful that you invited me. Let's have this conversation when children are not around. Let's have a great day. Celebrate Easter and the reason why we're here. And my kid is going to have the best fucking time. And she is absolutely not paying for this petty bullshit between grown ass women. All right. Yeah. It's not happening. I don't care if I'm filming a show or not. Mm-hmm. This is my child's day. She's having fun. I'm putting on my big girl pants. I thought it was really, really sad. Amen. And I was very annoyed. Mm-hmm. This sweet little girl who asked about the Easter egg hunt. Like, it chokes me up. Yeah. Know, How weird I, is that? No, because you have a baby and you know yes, what it would do to yes. ocean because it can, you know, you've yeah. been there. What the fuck is that? Am I crying over <laughs> her <laughs> making right? her baby I, leave for no, Easter? No, but that's, I got goosebumps. That's heartbreaking. What's it, it was. Yeah. Well, I cried on size just in the car just barely when we were oh, driving no. about, about her, her, her about mom. About mom. Yeah. yeah. It's this fucking eclipse. I'm it's telling you. Eclipse. What's happening? I don't, what I'm is not kidding you. Eclipses. I want to go and crawl into bed. We're crying yeah, about emotions. housewives. What well, is going uh, on? Do, do we have reasons. any tissues, producer John? We're fine. I have this little no. bag. Or <laughs> I, got a, I got a Chili's hoodie. All right. Okay, it's no fine. Baby. It's all good. It's That's fine. what I learned from Salt Lake. Also, very Salt Lake is awesome. I was balls deep in Southern Charm this weekend. Okay, so I need to watch Southern Charm because I've heard forever it's so good. I do like it. You do? I just so she told me she was like, "Hey, can fantastic!" You, just so we can talk about it. So I watched two episodes, just to have an idea. Yeah. FYI, don't know names yet. Okay. Getting there. Okay. Makes making sense. Making my yeah, making Makes my sense. cheat sheet, but I okay. actually really really enjoy it. Really? Yeah. yeah, the people are like I like all of the the cast like really? all of the yeah. yeah okay, I'm gonna watch. I don't know why I'm acting shocked. I've heard it's fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so everyone is saying that this storyline that's going on. So we have Shep, who was dating um, Taylor. Okay. We have Austin, Are you who is Ven- dating Olivia. A Venn diagram. We should put a whiteboard. These I know, guys, we really should. Besties, these girls, besties. All right, do you see this? These two are together, together, together. Do you see 
it on here. Okay? Yes. Do you see how it's working? Yeah. They break up. Taylor, who's a Bible bumper, mm. <laughs> hooks up with Austin, her ex's best friend and her best friend's ex. Okay? Mm-hmm. They claim they didn't have sex. They've been lying about kissing for a while now. Mm. If you, I'm sorry, but at this age, Taylor, if you kiss, you, you fuck. You smashed. You smashed. Yeah. Taylor, the Bible bumper, also sent a nude picture <laughs> to Shep's other friend, Whitney, whose mom is fabulous. Who was the one who spilt the tea, right? Who's the one, yeah. And the <laughs> reason we know that Whitney got a nude picture from Bible bump and Taylor is because um, Whitney's fabulous southern mother spilled that tea. And she goes, and then there's the nude photograph that I guess we're not talking about. Oh! And Taylor tries to tell Shep because Shep calls her on it and says, you sent a nude picture. He goes, she goes, you couldn't see anything. It was dark. Couldn't see anything. They sit down at the table. Shep says, um, we squashed it. Taylor's like, yeah, everyone, you couldn't see anything that I sent to Whitney. That did happen, but you couldn't see anything. My girl fucking Madison LaCroix, hot as fuck, goes, I saw your tits and your vagina. <laughs> and she's like this. Bible bumper's like, fuck. <laughs> you guys, this season's fucking awesome. Oh, I need to watch. They brought in I'm, 2 I'm, million views yeah. a couple weeks ago. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. Everyone again is saying, oh, it's a, they're trying to repeat Scandaval. Let me tell you something. If you go back, if you go back on a Madison LaCroix Instagram, they had a day chaser, which is Taylor's booze company that she's trying to promote. It's not hers, but she's promoting it. They go to a day chaser party. Madison has on, the theme was like skier. She has on a black headband, cute sunglasses, black little jacket. Okay. If you go back on her Instagram, when this was already very much a storyline, this was episode five, that was filmed. She took a picture, posted it on IG in January. Okay, mm. that was well before Scandaval even broke. This was their storyline. And if they had been, if this was episode five, that means they had been filming for five weeks, give or take. That would have put us at the end of November, give or take. This was happening. This was going to be their story, whether Scandaval happened or not. Yeah. Okay. It's actually really shitty that the way it worked yeah, out. That right. It didn't hit first. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Because these people would be on Dancing with the Fucking Stars <laughs> right now. All right. <laughs> This season's fucking good. Mm. I can't get enough of it. I really can't. No, it's good. And wow. I can't it's wait. making me horny talking about wow. it. Wow. Well, Not because of all the hooking Actually, up, I'm just because that, when something is yeah. so good, that really gets me going. That gets you going. Good TV is what gets me wet. Okay. Listen up, Greek men. <laughs> <laughs> Give her a euro and a towel and a good show. <laughs> By go. the way, have you guys ever sent nudes? I ugh, no. uh, never my face in them. No, like I said, I've never. Early college for sure. It was the thing. I, 2010, 2011. Yeah, for, you know. I remember a friend of mine in the eighth grade took a picture and sent yeah. it to someone, just her boobs, and she was like this. <laughs> Fourteen. I was like, what the? What is she doing? It made its round. You know, yeah, he went around the school, and I was oh, just so heartbreaking. Didn't hit that the younger happened. Grades and, <laughs> no, that happened to my best. That happened to a friend of mine, and she. It makes the rounds, and that's like I, so so sad. I don't. I don't know how many people send nudes, but I feel like like our generation, I doesn't as much because we were so we were like the first ones with cell phones in that grade. Yeah. So like when you did, you were scarred either from it. Or from somebody you knew, so you're like, I'm never fucking doing that. Yeah. So I've I don't sent think nudes to, like, my boyfriends at the time. That's what it that's was. I've right. never sent it on unsolicited, number one, to, like, number some two. random guy that you're talking never. to? Never. It has to be a relationship. And then Absolutely. I'm like, yeah. Have you, you've never sent a nude? Guys, I may have sent one to my ex, maybe. Okay. Oh. I think I bet, if anything, but it's just like... I it's, feel like nude guy pics are weird. There you go. Yes, it's nude, like, well, you only have one thing. You're not going to send a picture of your ass. Like, if I were to... I think if You're when I send there. photos, like, it would just be, like, shirtless in bed, like, you know, faceless, That's but not tattoos even give nude. it away. Oh, I well, guess yeah, if you have your penis uh, well, in it. No, I would cover that, because it's, it's a <laughs> junk package. I feel like I look at my body nude before getting in the shower, and I'm like, there's no way this is ever going... <laughs> like, how is this attractive to any lady? 
Yeah. Or like I'm just yeah. it's the female body is just so pretty. Yeah. And then like, yeah. the you, male body is just like no matter how shaped you are as a man, it's just like somebody just threw play doh at it. It looks like, like kind of like there. you taking a nude photo. It just looks like kind of like you're at the doctor's office and they're like, here's <laughs> here's your physical an anatomy. Yeah. Picture. It's just like nothing. Dick, scrotum, <laughs> ball sack, kneecap. Yeah. Anus. Anus. <laughs> Anus. Bend over. Why is that the funniest word? Gooch. <laughs> Speaking of, though, what? I got my dad's old Playboys and I yeah. was going through them. Yeah. Bush era. Stop. Oh, mm. we love the Bush. <laughs> Bush league. Remember when people tried to be like, the Bush is coming back. Never. 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 Are you joking with all the lasering? That shit no. ain't coming back. Never. I, as a f- patchy vagina will would come back. If, I don't want because we've any all been hair. lasered, but it's like really, like you really got to have the right skin tone, right uh, hair texture to get that laser to really pick up the root and rip it right, like uh. laser it to its core. Ouch. So you're really just getting instead of bush vagina, it's like patchy bush vagina. If you want <laughs> to grow out. <laughs> Oh. Which, by the way, if you have a bush and you're rocking it and you love it, good for you. Dude, I, just I have never friends that have the bush. I, really? I mean, yeah, and they been... show it to me. And I'm like, it looks like it's going to eat me. There's... Here's the thing. Do you, just like if you're about to go Monster. and, you know, yeah. get a little foreplay going and things of that nature. I don't know. Clean up. It's not my me. vibe. My one friend, I was like telling her, you can't have a bush. And then she was like, all right, then I'm going to do something. And I was like, you know what? Do now you? that I think about it, you're like married and shit. And have actually, now thinking have a bush. about it, I And don't I've know got a Mr. Bigglesworth and like <laughs> where you at. So like keep the bush, dude. <laughs> I, I, keep the fucking bush. Right? It obviously Who am I to Maybe say? I'll get a bush. <laughs> Maybe that's where how you find good men is no. they're, they're sticking around even with a bush. <laughs> anyway. Wow. Not after these laser <laughs> sessions, you won't. That's what, I know. Those are my I'm favorite fuck. sessions. Have don't, a patchy don't, beard down don't there. get me. Don't report me to HR for saying that. For saying what? I am HR. Those are my fa- favorite sessions. <laughs> we don't have an HR, or I'd be in a lot of trouble making Jessica take content in saying? my laser appointment with me having to hold my ass cheeks, hold her ass cheeks <laughs> on her stomach, holding her own ass cheeks open. Ass like popped up a little because you got to get in there, and she's going ow ow, and it's like zzz, zzz, and I'm. Crying, laughing. It is, <laughs> however, so funny. I always ask first, like when you yeah, took a picture does. of me naked, yes, la- like a couple years ago. Yeah. I asked, do you feel comfortable taking a nude I'm photo crying. of me? Because if you don't, it's okay. I don't even know if it got <laughs> to that. I think you're it, still gonna have to you're do still it. Gonna have you're gonna have to, have to do be it. all right. With it. <laughs> I will no. never force anybody I to don't, do that. I don't think it got to that. I think I was saying we need to take a good nude in this. That's what it was. And then you were like, do you feel comfortable? I'm like, I'm literally It's my idea. <laughs> yeah. We're a bunch of fucking weirdos. All right. It's my favorite time of the podcast. Ache and relief of the week. My ache is that Matthew Perry passed away at the age of 54. Our beloved Chandler Bing. Mm. Devastating. I heard from his memoir that he had relapsed between 60 again I don't know how he passed away um but it's just crazy that I was celebrating five years of sobriety and then this pops up you know talking about his memoir that he said he relapsed um 60 to 70 times that's a lot of fight to put up for your life um and I just there like Every movie that he's been in, what what was it? The the whole nine yards with Bruce Willis, Matthew Perry. We watched it, Easton, with Brandon, our older brother, and then Friends. That like you I watch what? all the time. And we Brandon, all did. Brandon reminded me of the Chandler. He had like something with the mouth, right? They had like something the with same the mouth. mannerisms. Yes, and like when Chandler would get manic and like do things, that's how Brandon kind of is. So our like older brother, yeah. our yeah. older brother. So it was like. It, we he loved br- Chandler Bing. He brought so Chandler Bing, Matthew Perry brought so much joy to people. No. He had such kind eyes mm-hmm. and such a sweet smile. So mm-hmm. I didn't know him, but I feel like I'm going to miss him. Also, mm-hmm. fun not fun fact, crazy fact actually. You guys know I'm obsessed with Dateline. Matthew Perry's stepdad is Keith Morrison. I know. I saw him there and I what? thought he was there yeah. to do like something about like a piece on it cuz I was like, "Oh, 
And then he walked over, and then I like read a little more, and I was Saw like, where? "What a at the there were photos at the taken site, at, like at the, the like, house, after yeah." And he was, was crossing struck. through the yellow tape, oh. and it does look like he's going and to, doing his job yeah. for Dateline or something. Well, I, yeah, because I never put that; I just assume. But yeah, yeah but yeah. Wow. Terrible. Um, and I want to say my relief of the week is I think it's gonna be BravoCon. <gasps> Yay! Let's Although hope. I am very nervous because I have social anxiety. I know it doesn't show, but I do. Um, I'm very excited. You should be, because every yeah. time you go out and do that stuff, you look very natural. When I when we were on stage, I was thinking, like, why does she ever get nervous? Because mm. you really can just go out and just do it. Yeah. And and I fake it. it. I fake it every well, time. Well, you're <laughs> fucking killing it, so keep faking it. It works. Because you, you're making it. No, mm-hmm. you do very well, so I don't think you should, mm-hmm. you should be nervous at all. Thanks, babe. Um, what is your ache and relief, East? My ache is also Matthew, Matthew Perry. Perry and Chandler Bing and mm-hmm. just, yeah, because that was like my whole childhood, you know? Yeah. How many seasons? Nine? Oh. I think ten. Ten? Yeah, Seinfeld yeah. was nine. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Friends was think ten. Think of that. Yeah. So, yeah, decade of our lives. Like, mm-hmm. I was watching that, and Brandon loved it, so then I started watching it, and then that's when I put... So, yeah, that's my ache of the week, and then my relief is going to be... Probably BravoCon as well. Like, I'm yeah, excited. Yeah, we got have... TT at BravoCon. Yeah. 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 I got some friends out there that I'm going to go hang out with. We got some good dinners. Calvin Cobb will be there as well. With Calvin, Calvin. Calvin. Go Cobb. Kick it with him. Love it. Calvin Cobb. Perfect. So those are mine. Fun. We're excited to have you. Jersa Kerr. My ache, um, obviously Matthew Perry, but my ache was I went and after I went home a few months ago, I got adjusted by my brother's uh girlfriend Allie Dr. Allie Benkart and I felt like a new woman like the whole Dustin bit you did or the whole Dustin story you said about getting your back cracked um felt like a new woman so I decided this past weekend I said I'm gonna do it again it's gonna be the same of course all it's mostly the same not the same not the same I went it it matters chiropractors right chiropractors yeah matter Allie you're a freaking Magician. magician also a musician but a, a ma- <laughs> magician and um no because it was not good and i was like what is this it was just like awkward and it hurt and then i, I started getting nervous because i'm like i'm gonna what if i get what if they like do something to my spine it was not good i'm not gonna say where it was but it matters so all of the good chiropractors out there congrats on being congrats. so good because it's, it's a hard a good, job it's an amazing art yeah it's an amazing art um, yeah. And then my relief is BravoCon. BravoCon. I've never been to a BravoCon before. I'll be popping in and out. Easton and I will maybe be sharing locations. Not. No, we have to. Yeah, we'll be. We'll, That's the only thing that throws me through. Yeah, we not have where the anyone is. whole game. We should have done a podcast there <gasps> next time. Damn it! Next oh, well. time, next yeah. year. Yeah, it'll be fun. Next year. Next year. Is it going to be in Vegas next year? We never know. <laughs> Fingers we crossed. never know. You guys, thank you so much for listening to another episode of the Give Them Lala podcast. Reminder that if you're listening here right now to go on, because we have YouTube now where you can watch you this go podcast. Comment, like, and subscribe. I love you guys so much. Happy hump day. I'll see some of you at BravoCon, I am sure. I love you. Catch you next time. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of the Give Them Lala podcast. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and I will catch you next week.